Today is Josh and my 10 year wedding anniversary. It's our anniversary. What are you doing now? 10 years. It's a 10 year. It's a 10 year. We have 10 year. Ashley and I have been married for a decade now. That's a long time to spend with any one person. We get a lot of people asking if we're married, girlfriend, boyfriend. In Europe, everybody thought we were girlfriend, boyfriend. I guess they don't really get married their young. It's, I mean, it's even in the US, it's still a little weird to get married young. Yeah, we got married at 20 years old, three days before my 21st birthday. In 2007? 2007, yeah. that's right. Uh, today, that would be January 13th, 2007. Yeah, good job remembering the date. For all of you pros out there, Ashley will turn another year older in two days' time. Yeah, but don't do the math. <laughs> we wanted to share with you some video that we found of our wedding day. Now remember, this is 2007 before we had a nice camera. It was actually a VHS recorder. Something like that. And we did not pay any professionals. These are friends and family home video <laughs> of our wedding day. Flashback! The night before my wedding, I had all my girlfriends come to my grandma's house and we all stayed upstairs together and spent the night, kind of like a big slumber party. I had five bridesmaids, they were all up there with me. It up really good the night before and I went to get my hair cut early in the morning with my friend Rebecca from Chicago. This is my documentary of me getting married. So it was the morning of my wedding and my makeup's done and everybody's sleeping and they're at my grandparents. Rebecca and I slept in here all day. Okay, again. And it comes done. It's definitely did it. Good morning, bride. Hi. Hi. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> are you? How do you feel? Um, good. Yeah? Good. <laughs> yeah, I had to sleep. Good. I woke up one time. Really? I woke up like five. Oh, really? I think I was more nervous for you. Oh, that's what Stephanie said. I gave it to her. Whoa! My little baby! Oh, it's a little guy! How many bobby pins were you? I don't know. I didn't count. After! All right! And I don't even remember what I did with my guy friends. Probably nothing. We probably all slept at our own houses and then just met the next day. Yeah, I don't think we're guys, right? We don't do the slumber party thing. After I got my hair done, then we went back to my grandma's, I got my dress on, and then we headed to the church for photos. Mm -hmm. This is the church that I grew up in. We weren't actually going to it at the time. We had found a different one after we uh, started dating each other. But this is the one that I grew up in. Like, I, I went to this church for basically 20 years. It's not tradition to see the bride before the wedding, but Josh and I opted to take communion together before we got married, as well as get the photos done before the wedding and everyone was there so that we didn't have people waiting on us. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Just stay there. So, Mom, I'm gonna have you just come. One, two, three. Unfortunately, our photos turned out crap. We did, we hired a professional professional and spent a lot of money but every single photo was not good so sadly we have no great video no great photos from a wedding but wonderful memories Josh and I were married by our pastor Barry from our church that we went to together um, he's an amazing pastor I really enjoyed the church and he did a great job doing our wedding we did, before our, we got married, we did uh, premarital counseling, which is something that was required. And I really strongly suggest that if you're going to get married to do premarital counseling beforehand, it's just really helpful with expectations mostly and um, understanding each other's needs. On behalf of friends and family who may not know the story, I've asked Josh to write a little story to bring us up to speed of how the two of them came to be here today. And Josh writes the following. 
He says, Ashley and I have known each other for several years. About a year ago in January of 06, my friend invited me to Ashley's sister's birthday party. I had hopes that Ashley was going to be there and was very happy when she showed up. We ended up talking a lot that night and were the last to leave. I thought Ashley was very fun and we had a great time together. I reasoned that I didn't stand a chance with her if I didn't ask her on a date. And if she said no, then I was no worse off than I had been before. Little did I know that our first date would last most of the day and over the course of the next several months, I would fall deeply in love with Ashley. I am so glad that I waited until God provided me with a wife instead of just dating around. If I hadn't saved myself for marriage, I might have missed the opportunity for this amazing blessing. I definitely credit um, that part of that premarital counseling and also the backgrounds that we grew up with with the longevity of our marriage. If you can say that 10 years isn't that long in the grand scheme of things, but nowadays 10 years is, is pretty long to be married um, depending on your situation. I feel really blessed that we've been able to have 10 years of relative joy and happiness in our marriage. Josh and I decided to write our own vows. Now remember, we are 20 years old. <laughs> I looked up things online, I think. <laughs> no I was, I was probably over serious in my vows. I haven't actually seen them. I don't remember what they are. But I, was, I, I imagine I was trying to be very poignant and precise with every little word. So, uh, and um, I got so choked up, I was really embarrassed in front of everyone because it wasn't like, I didn't mean to get choked up, you know, like, it was just an emotional moment, I guess, and it just, like, stopped me. It's a wedding! <laughs> I guess. Ashley, when we first started dating, I told you it was with the idea that we could get, that we could get married in the future. Now God has blessed me with your love and you with mine. I've always said that when you love someone, the relationship isn't about yourself, and that if each person focuses on the needs of others, no, nobody needs to be selfish. I promise to pray for you, uplift you, and lead us together in devotions to God. I promise to follow God's command that I love you unconditionally. I will protect you, provide for you, and when I say, till death do us part, I mean it. I make these vows to you today in the presence of God, our family, and all these friends. I love you, Josh Brown. And before our God, our family, and our friends, I lovingly take you as my husband and give myself to you. <laughs> oh. I give you my all. I give you all that I am all that I have, and all that I ever will be. Um, just as Jesus Christ has loved me with an unconditional love, so shall I love you. My love for you will last, um, uh, sorry, my love for you will outlast everything. It will stand when all else has fallen. I promise to be faithful and forgiving, to encourage, respect, and pray for you with the same care and concern that I give myself. I promise to help you become all the man that the Lord has intended you to be. Throughout our lifetime together, you will always be my beloved husband and my best friend. We will walk together from this day forward, always searching, God's, searching for um, God's perfect will in our lives and trusting him for his blessings as husband and wife. So what I didn't remember was Josh and I, after we got married, we recorded. Um, in the car driving away from the church. Did we? Yeah, I, it's so cute. I genuinely didn't know this. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, yeah, just watch this clip. So this is my new husband. Hi, my name is Josh Brown. <laughs> He's driving our car that has riding on it. So, I was going to create it. We're going home, so we're on Mile Hill right now. I'm the bride. Ashley Not any longer though, because I just no, my wedding. Ashley, you will always be my bride. Even though we didn't get married in June? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. You'll always be my bride. Well. Oh. Right on. So next comes the honeymoon. We'll document that as well. Uh <laughs> What is it?
It's us right after we got married oh. in the car. All right. Talking and saying like, this is my first time in Josh's car being his wife and oh, like man. cute things like that. Josh and I chose not to go on our honeymoon the same day as our wedding. Mm. We wanted to go back to the small house that we were renting and just have the night uh, to relax and then the next day head out on our um, honeymoon. So we actually also have clips of us washing our car after our wedding uh, on our way to our honeymoon. A few times and we went out to dinner last night. She means we've had sex several times. Don't say that. My family could be watching. Well, what do they think the guys think when they say done it? Well, Jacob's might know that. Okay. Jacob, your sister's not a virgin Whoa. anymore. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. Sorry. Went to the mall, saw the woolsies of my sister. Now we're in line at the car wash next to our house to wipe off all the soap on our car. We got an igloo thingy for all our food. And two spatulas. Yeah. One for clothing pancakes, one for normal clothing. Who said that it's just for pancakes? On the on the spatula itself, it says pancake flipper. Pancake spatula. That's stupid. We could use it for so many other things. Well, actually, it's a good thing I love you, otherwise you'd be out of the car. Excuse me? Huh? It's true. Oh. I don't remember this. We stayed in a cabin in the woods. Josh planned the honeymoon and we um, got a small cabin in the mountains where it had snowed and we were going to go snowboarding for the very first time. I don't have any snowboarding clips, but we did stop and get some gloves at a store and <laughs> socks for me. And then um, we'll show you a little bit of our our small honeymoon retreat, I guess. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Uh, okay. Turn everyone oh, ring. Josh and I just got here somewhere. I don't even know where we're at. These are my new gloves for snowboarding. We're in Gold Bar. Oh yeah, Gold Bar. And those are my new socks. They match my gloves. Right on. Josh's new hat. Yeah. Keep his head warm with his little hood. Because I didn't actually bring any hats I thought I had. I've never actually worn one of these half-billed ones, but I've seen other people pull it off, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So, Boring. New gloves, new socks, snowboarders. We're officially cool snowboarders now and can do it. Now that I have socks and gloves, I can snowboard. This is our cabin, the outside. Our bed is up there. Little kitchen. I like some soap. Dress efforts. There's my husband. Saving the stuff. What's going on over there? Staying in the cabin. This is the shower. Nothing happens in there. What is it? My swimsuit. Nothing happens in the shower. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is all super embarrassing because <laughs> I was 20 years old. That's that's not even quite an adult uh, legal age. I couldn't even drink alcohol in the United States when we first got married. We were also virgins, so yeah. everything was new. Like yeah, and kind of scary. Like not not for me. <laughs> for me, it was scary because I had never been with a man before. Yeah. Exciting and a little nerve-wracking and Josh teases me in the video a little bit Do about I? it. Yeah, because I say we did it and you were like we had sex. <laughs> Just say it. We had sex. <laughs> <laughs> Just FYI for all the um, the children in the audience. That's how babies are made. Yeah, and when you're married it's okay. <laughs> So those are some very interesting and embarrassing memories that I don't even remember. Thank you for sharing those with me. It will be so fun to just share them with you guys and have this fun little memory video of our 10 year wedding anniversary. So thank you guys so much for spending this 10 year anniversary with us. I hope you enjoyed some of the looks back. Even though this wasn't a travel focused video, I still hope we are encouraging you to get there and travel today with all of our travel videos and this look back and seeing how we've progressed through the years to get to this point now. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Ciao.